What's up guys? We are now in Barcelona. We just arrived at our hotel. Super excited to see uh, what we can find here in Barcelona. After Madrid, you know, uh, I have to say, I, uh, I think I already like Barcelona more, you know, <laughs> just from driving in from the airport. It just has a lot more kind of like a, I want to say more hip vibe. Plus, I love that it's by the water. But uh, let me sh show you around the hotel first. We got a nice bathroom. We're at the Hotel Colonial Barcelona. Barcelona. Bathroom. <laughs> oh, hey, Sophie. Fanny pack. <laughs> Fanny pack for the for win. Tourists. We got two single beds put next to each other. We're fighting. We're fighting. <laughs> We're arguing right now. Kind of a small TV, but hey, I ain't complaining. I love the high ceiling. Gives it a more luxurious feel. But I think my favorite part about this room is this balcony though. The water is right over there. You can see the boats parked in the marina. It is so beautiful out. The weather is so beautiful out, nice 67 degrees right now. We're gonna go around and we're just gonna explore and get some lunch. And uh, we are not really have an itinerary today. Tomorrow we do have some stuff. We're gonna visit the Sagrada Familia tomorrow. But today we're just gonna explore and see what we can find. around Gothic Quarter. Gothic. It's a pretty cool part of uh, Barcelona where it's a bunch of the old Gothic kind of architecture around here. The buildings are gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. Of course we find ourselves at a flea market. Mom would be proud. Mom would be proud. Still a kid. Child. She's a child. <laughs> the horde. They're coming. <laughs> the child right behind. <laughs> Field trip. The architecture looks amazing, but I mean, <laughs> what about that Samsung advertising up there? That should not be allowed. They really sold out there, huh? <laughs> they really want that, that ad space. <laughs> Found more vendors. More vendors. <laughs> I, can, I can sniff them. What you got? You got some juice. Juicy juice. Passion fruit mango orange. Passion fruit mango orange. Oh, refreshing. Refreshing. Like, okay, okay, hear me out. Hear me out. So I know it looks like a corn dog, but we're in Barcelona, and it's, so it's, it's made not in the USA. And, and there's cheese in it too. So it's cheese and a chicken sausage with corn dog batter. So. It's exotic. All right? She got a corn dog. She got a corn dog. <laughs> all right, 
So I just tried the uh, Iberian ham for the first time. You know, it's the ones that they have like hanging. You can see over there, a leg hanging. Let me just say it tastes exactly how it smells. <laughs> and to me, it doesn't smell very good. It tastes like old, kind of just old meat. I don't really like it. Gamey meat. Yeah. Steven's very sensitive to gaminess. Yeah. He doesn't like uh, sheep but, or goat milk. But uh, I gave it a try. I don't like it. <laughs> not, not for your taste buds. Yeah. <laughs> You ever seen a slide in Sephora? <laughs> Literally a slide into beauty. <laughs> so it's been a long day. After flying in early this morning and then walking around all day, we're, uh, we're settling. I wanted a paella, Sophie wanted a burger. So we compromised and we're getting a burger. And salad. <laughs> well, and salad. Well, a little bit, something healthy. <laughs> healthy. Very healthy. Very, very healthy. Dinner was good, but you know Sophie always has to end with some dessert. And we got a Kinder Bueno milkshake. Ooh. Go and take a sip of that bad boy. Does it taste like a bueno? Exactly like a <laughs> I saw him back there. He, he had a whole handful of them. He just threw them in. The milkshake and blended them up. So good. Nice. Mm. Stop for a quick breakfast bite real quick. We got a chicken sandwich, some kind of chocolate pastry, and uh, so we got a uh, cafe de vanilla. I'm a sucker for anything sweet. <laughs> All right, so we had a little breakfast. We're a little bit late. We gotta kind of hurry up and get to the La Sagrada Familia, because we have a guided tour at 12.30, and it's like 12.20. <laughs> Subirak got the idea and put it as the uh, soldiers, the Roman soldiers. That's why are so fantastical look. So we just went through the guided tour. Yes. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. Pretty cool lot, stuff actually. going around. He was telling us a lot about Gaudi, who was the uh, designer and architect of this, uh, this beautiful, beautiful church. Sophie, what was your favorite part about this church? Or the, about, an about interesting the fact tour? that you learned about the tour? Oh, well, we haven't seen it yet, but there's a little Sudoku box outside, and there's like four, eight, 12, 16, I think there's 16 numbers uh, going across and down, um, and it like, represents 33 no matter what direction you go, and the 33 represents something about Jesus, and I forgot because you're putting me on the spot I think now. It's the birth or something like that? <laughs> yeah, you, you put me on the spot, but that was numbers in general. Are really cool to me so it was, it was pretty cool it was very cool but literally everything in here is so beautiful every little minute detail in the color in the angles in the everything it's gorgeous 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 some of my favorite things is actually the the stained glass windows and actually on the right side here is different than the left side but unlike many churches that don't really have too many windows 
apparently Gaudi liked a lot of the windows because he thought that light means like God, like heaven. So he wanted to have a lot of light going into the church. Quite honestly, I don't think pictures or video really does this glass that much justice. Nope. Because in, in, in real life, it looks so cool with the light coming in. Breathtaking. Mm. For all those Kingdom Hearts fans out there, you know what's up. One of my favorite facts about this part of the church, the entrance right here, is that if you look at the faces, back then, they didn't have anything to really go off of. So they would take random people that they found like walking around the church and then they would plaster their face to make the mold for all the statues on the front. So I thought that was pretty cool. But nowadays they have 3D printing that they use to make more faces. So uh, from now on until 2030 when they finish, they're just going to use 3D printing. All right, Steven, get over here. Let me throw some holy water on you and see if you burn. That's the Sudoku thing I was talking about. They're all 33, no matter where. So our tour guide was saying that this little building right here was a little kind of uh, school where the workers would have their kids come while they were helping build the church. So they would just, it'd be, it'd be a school for the neighborhood, essentially. Another cool fact is that if you notice, the bricks are laying vertically when usually you see bricks laying horizontally. But because of the, the way that the the ground is and the, the way the bricks kind of concave and convex around each other ends up being very stable. Also, if you notice the roof, it's kind of like on a wave. Uh, Gaudi said he took inspiration from a leaf and how leaves are kind of not wavy, they're not totally straight like a roof usually is. And so because it's kind of straight lines going in opposite directions, it ends up being super stable. <laughs> We're getting our workout in going up this hill. Why do I live in Florida? It didn't prepare me for this. Catch up, Sophie. Come on. I'm not even breaking a sweat. <laughs> <laughs> We're on our way to Park Well, but they make you walk like a thousand steps to get there. <sighs> getting your workout in. Unfortunately, Parkville uh, sold out of tickets today, so I we're gonna have to make this hike tomorrow. This is the first time I've sweat since I've been in Florida. <laughs> but going down is a lot easier than going up. We're back at the market. I got a juice. So refreshing. This is a strawberry and pineapple. Strawberry pineapple. Strawberry pineapple juice. So refreshing. Two bucks. Two bucks. In the States, this would be like. Eight bucks. <laughs> Insane. Eat me. Some juice. What the hell was it? I thought it was Refreshing. So we just stopped at a restaurant off La Rambla. We're at a place called Sasolada. Uh, we're stopping here for our first ever seafood paella. Never had paella ever. So we're super excited to see what it tastes like. So the paella is here. Super excited. They got mussels, shrimp, uh, some squid. Uh, it's looking really good. It smells fantastic. Super excited to dig into this. Ooh. It's my friend Jerry. No. Sorry, Jerry. No, Jerry. <laughs> one, one for you. See all the squid, clams, mussel. Update, it's delicious. Oniony, garlicky, maybe some cumin, whatever other spices, all mixed together, it is really good. We should order two of these. <laughs> well, Jerry, I'm scooping this rice out. I ain't wasting any <laughs> rice, dude. This is good. Too good. Even even the little clams. I'm scooping any little piece of rice out of this. Man, we really put this away, didn't we? <laughs> Holy cow. It was so good. Did you enjoy it, Toby? 
Very much so. Delicious. Now I gotta learn how to make it at home. So we just finished with a little snack, a little paella snack. A paella? We're just gonna walk around and see what other food we can find. <laughs> Why are we so fat? We're so fat. I love it. I love it. So we're now at La Rambla. Huh? This is known as one of the, if not the, pickpocket capital of the world. Looks like we found another uh, dining and shopping area. I feel like that's all we ever do. That's all we ever do. That's all we ever do. I don't know why, but somehow we always end up back at ramen. Back to ramen. All right guys, day three in Barcelona, last day here. We got another action-packed day. First gonna get some breakfast, then go to the park, breakfast. and then go to another park. So, it'll be fun. <laughs> Mouth. Behind me, you can see the Arco de Triunfo. It's a beautiful day. Everybody just walking around. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> We're now at La Cascada de Tiedea Park. Beautiful fountain behind me. We're about to walk up to the top there. Definitely an Instagramable spot, that's for sure. All right, attempt number two. Attempt number two. Back up the hill to go to Park Well. But at least we're expecting it now. We know what what uh, what to expect and how high it's gonna be. I gotta seem like I'm in shape to make sure you turn the camera so I'm not helping and puffing. So we made it to Park Güell. Alive. It's a, just like a huge park and has a bunch of monuments, so we're gonna go visit all of them in here. We're so in shape. <laughs> we're, we're, we're so in shape. I'm That's all I'm gonna say. I'm sweating. <laughs> Don't look too close. <laughs> Parkour! Oh! Parkour! So we're leaving Park Well now. It was cool. It was nice. $10 a ticket. There's some things to see here, but overall it's just a nice kind of park to come to. It's cool. The thing is it's also a little bit out of the way from Barcelona. Got to take a little train to get here, but overall I think it was worth it. Nice and shady over here, much cooler. Man, coming up here, it was so hot. It's like, I'm sweating, dude. It sucks now because like we were trying to keep our clothes clean because we only got one suitcase, well, one suitcase each, but now I'm gonna have some dirty clothes. It's okay, we got a sink. Yeah, we got a sink. <laughs> and, some, and some soap. Yeah, I think I'll wash them in the sink. <laughs> all right, we made it to the bottom. We made it. Had to go all the way up there. But we made it. Yay. Well, now what are we gonna do, Sophie? We're gonna go get 
some water. <laughs> some water, some food. We're now getting some dinner at a place called Flax and Kale. It's like a super healthy food kind of place. We feel like we haven't really been getting our vegetables lately, so here we are. All that greenery. It's gonna be real healthy after this. Alright guys, last hour in Barcelona, in fact, last hour in Spain. Uh, it's 8.30 in the morning right now and we are about to leave for the airport to go to Paris, France. Super exciting, I've really had a good time in Spain. Madrid and Barcelona, great places to visit. There's always a rivalry between Madrid and Barcelona and I do have to say that I have enjoyed Barcelona far more than Madrid. Madrid is fun, but it's a little more low key, doesn't seem to have as much to do. Um, kind of like an older vibe in a way. Barcelona seems to be more of like the hip cousin that is a little more fun, a little more vibrant. There's a lot more energy in Barcelona that I've really enjoyed. Some of the things that have been surprising in Spain is just some of the cultural things. For example, uh, in bathrooms they have what's called uh, water closets where they have like a shared sink area and then from the sink area, they have, you know, boys' bathroom, girls' bathroom. There was a restaurant I walked into, and I walked through the door into the water closet, and there was girls washing their hands. And I immediately thought, holy crap, I'm in the girls' bathroom. So I stepped right back out. Well, it turned out that it was actually the shared sink area, so I had to get used to that. Another cultural thing that's kind of different is when people like to eat. Seems like uh, people don't like to get up very early here in Spain and I think in Europe in general. And even when they eat breakfast, they only have maybe uh, some juice or coffee and a croissant to eat breakfast. Well, you know, in America, people are eating pancakes, waffles, eggs, bacon, the whole nine yards. Also, the time that people eat dinner at, a lot of these restaurants here in Spain, they don't even open till eight or 8.30. Meanwhile, back home, at least in our hometown, things close at eight or 8.30. So very different. We felt like we were very old when we were eating dinner at like six o'clock. Overall, we really enjoyed Spain. It's been a super fun time here. Super excited for France. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos to come. See you guys in France. I like that bowl. I wanted to read that it. That's a nice bowl. Hold up. <laughs> It looks so be a confession booth. You got anything to confess? I'm in here and I'm the wrong religion. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. They got a menorah. Disrespectful. <laughs> it's fine. It's great. I'll turn the camera so I can breathe. <laughs> it's been three days. We <laughs> walked up this hill. There's no sign of civilization. You don't see anybody. <laughs> Stephen, I thought you left me. <laughs> it's just the beginning. Death is only the beginning. Mm.